Hello students, welcome to the same tenders online classes. We are working from home. So in the previous videos, we have solved question number 9 of exercise 6.2. Now we will start from the question number 15. I have left the question in between because they are similar. So give it a try. If you have any problem, please do let me know. So now we will look at the question number 15. Let I be any interval disjoint from minus 1 to 1. Prove that fx equals to x plus 1 upon x is strictly increasing on i. So we have an interval i which is disjoint from minus 1 to 1. So it means, what does it mean? That my i is minus infinite to minus 1 union 1 to infinite. It means I don't have any points in my interval which comes under minus 1 to 1. So now we will solve that whether the function is increasing or decreasing. Okay. So first of all, for increasing or decreasing, we'll find the slope. So the slope of fx equals to x plus 1 upon x. So we will find differentiation of function. It means f dash x. It will become the differentiation of x will be 1. And the differentiation of 1 upon x will be minus 1 upon x square. Now I am taking x square as LCM. It will become x square minus 1. So for, the, for this interval i, if I take any value, the denominator will always be positive because it is square of a quantity. So this always will be positive. And for this interval, I take any value and I am squaring it. So for, for sure, this value will always be greater than 1. And I am different. I am making a difference for a bigger value to the 1. So this amount will always be positive. Hence, the slope of the function will always be greater than 0 because it is greater than 0 then I will use term strictly increasing okay so hence fx is strictly increasing on i if it was like this suppose if it is worth like it fx greater than n equals to 0 then I will say that the function is increasing, not strictly. But if there is no equals only greater than 0, then I will use the term strictly increasing. Same goes in the case of decreasing function as well. If I have a function like that, a slope is less than equals to 0, then function is decreasing. But if there is no equals to only fx less than 0, then I would say the function is strictly increasing. I hope the confusion between decreasing and strictly decreasing is clear right now. Okay, so please pause the video and note it down. Okay. Now we will look at the question number 16, which is prove that fx equals to log sin x is strictly increasing on this interval and strictly decreasing on this interval. Okay, so now we'll solve it. First of all, what we will find? Exactly the slope of a function. So fx equals to log sin x. So what will be the slope? fx equals to the differentiation of log x will be 1 upon x. It means 1 upon sin x. As per the chain rule, I will differentiate sin x again. So it will become cos x upon sin x. It means my slope is equals to cot x. Now first part. For the interval 0 to pi by 2 and the second part is for the interval pi by 2 to pi. As you all know that for the first quadrant all angles are positive. Okay. So for, this is the our first interval 0 to pi by 2. So in this interval my f dash x will always be positive isn't it okay so if my slope is positive then function is fx is increasing since slope is positive then function is increasing okay now in the second part which is the interval pi by 2 to pi pi by 2 to pi this is my second quadrant and we all know that in second quadrant only sine and cos x are positive so cot in the second part and second quadrant is negative so for, for this quadrant, f dx is equal to negative. Hence, fx is decreasing. fx is decreasing. Okay, please note the, pause the video and note it down. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 17 एंड 18 आर सिमिलर टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 16 आई होप यू कैन सॉल्व देम नाउ वी विल लुक एट द क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 द इंटरवल इन व्हिच y इक्वल्स टू x स्क्वायर e रेज टू माइनस x इज इंक्रीजिंग इज वी हैव गिवन फोर ऑप्शंस वी हैव टू चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओके सो विल सॉल्व इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल फाइंड द d बाय अपॉन dx सो y इक्वल्स टू x स्क्वायर e रेज टू माइनस x सो d बाय अपॉन dx हियर आई विल अप्लाई प्रोडक्ट रूल सो I am differentiating x squared first, it becomes 2x, e raised to minus x plus, I am left in x squared z and e raised to minus x and I am differentiating minus x again, it becomes minus 1. So it will becomes 2x, e raised to minus x minus x squared, e raised to minus x, divide upon dx. From here, divide upon dx, I am taking e raised to minus x as common, so what will left? 2x minus x square. So, if the function is increasing, we have to find the interval for which the function is increasing. It, it means what? The slope should be positive. So, dy upon dx should be positive for fx to be increasing. fx to be increasing. Okay. So, and my dy over dx is e raised to minus x 2x minus x square this should be positive so and the product of two function will be positive if both quantities are positive or both quantities are negative but in that lesson of the exponent function i have clearly told you that is the graph of e exponent function okay whatever the power is the value, the range of the function can never be negative. So I know that e raised to minus x can never be less than 0. So what will be the case? Whether e raised to minus x will be positive or 2x minus x square will be positive. So from here, I am taking x as my common. So I am left with 2 minus x greater than 0. Or I could see that x, I am taking minus common from here, x minus 2 is less than 0. So from here, x is less than 0 or x is less than 2. So the interval will be the common of both 0 to 2. So this is the interval for which the function y equals to x square e raised to minus x will be increasing. So our option D is the correct. Please pause the video and note it down. Three. We can solve this question by number line method as well. So I told you earlier whenever we have asked to find the interval in which the function is increasing or decreasing. So first of all, we will find the slope, then we will put the slope equals to 0. So put dy upon dx equals to 0 to find out the critical points. Okay. So e raised to minus x dot 2x minus x square equals to 0. We know that the value of exponent function cannot be equal to 0. It means e raised to minus x cannot be equal to 0. Then it means what? 2x minus x square equals to 0. Okay. So from here, I will taking x as common. So it will become 2 minus x equals to 0. So from here, we will find x equals to 0 or x equals to 2. Okay, so these are my critical points. So I will note down these points on number 9. This is my point 0 and this is my point 2. So these two points have divided the whole real number 9 in three disjoint intervals which is minus infinite to 0, 0 to 2 and 2 to infinite. So we will take some test values. So for this interval, I am taking minus 1 as my test value. So I will find the value of the slope of this on this value. If the value comes to be negative, then for the entire interval, my slope will be negative. It means function will be decreasing. From here, for this interval, I am taking 1 as my test value. If at 1, my slope will be positive then for the entire interval the slope will be positive and the function will be increasing and for this interval i am taking 3 as my test value so i am finding out f dash minus 1 f dash 1 and f dash 3 so find out f dash minus 1 so when i put minus 1 in over here clearly you can see that it will be a negative value so for this interval minus infinite to 0 function is decreasing for the interval 0 to 2 I will, I will put over here so it will be positive so for the interval 0 to 2 my function is increasing and again for f dash 3 it will becomes minus 9 my function again is 
negative. You can check the value of f dash minus 1, f dash 1 and f dash 3. So by this, this is the interval where my function is increasing 0 to 2. So often is the correct answer. Now we will look at the example 13. It is very important question and 3 to 4 times uh, similar kind of questions have come to a board examination. Okay. So the question is find the intervals in which the function f given by fx equals to sin x plus cos x and the domain of the function is 0 to 2 by it is strictly increasing or strictly decreasing. Okay. So first of all our fx equals to sin x plus cos x. We will differentiate first. So f dash x equals to cos x minus sin x. So for increasing and decreasing, for increasing and decreasing function, put f dash x equals to 0. So cos x minus sin x equals to 0. It means cos x equals to sin x. So I could say that tan x equals to 1. I brought cos x into division. Then sin x upon cos x equals to tan x equals to 1. So tan x equals to 1 and my reason is 0 to 2 pi. My angle is 0 to 2 pi in 4 quadrant. So tan, in which quadrant the value of tan will be positive? Either it in the first quadrant or in the third quadrant. Okay. So the value of 1 will be at pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. So from here the value of x will be x will be either pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. So these are my critical values. So I will draw in this on the line. So my domain is 0 to 2 pi and my critical values are pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4. So these two value have again make 3 disjoint intervals 0 to pi by 4 pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 and 5 pi by 4 to 2 pi. So I am taking my test value pi by 6 for this interval, test value pi by 2 for this interval and 3 pi by 2 for this interval. Now we will check from for which value the slope is increasing or decreasing. So first of all I am take I am finding out f dash pi by 6. Okay. So find f dash it means cos pi by 6 minus sin pi by 6. It means cos pi by 6 under root 3 by 2 and sin pi by 6 1 by 2. It means it is a positive number. Okay. So for the interval 0 to pi by 4 the function is increasing. Now I am checking the value at pi by 2 for this interval. So f dash pi by 2. Put the values in the slope cos pi by 2 minus sin pi by 2 cos pi by 2 equals to 0 and sin pi by 2 is minus 1 it means minus 1 slope is negative so for this interval pi by 4 to 5 by 4 the slope is negative now i am checking the value at f dash 3 pi by 2 so for this function for this value both sin and cos are negative so cos 3 pi by 2 minus sin 3 pi by 2 cos pi by 2 is 0 minus sin 3 pi by 2 minus 1 it means plus 1 positive so for this interval is positive so we can see clearly that the function is increasing fx is increasing for which interval 0 to pi by 4 union 5 pi by 4 2 pi and fx is decreasing for the interval pi by 4 to pi by 4 pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 please pause the video and note it down so students here the exercise 6.2 is completed so in the next video we will understand the concept of tangent and normal okay